No, I think she's misunderstood. And I think everybody, you know, everybody, every villain thinks that they're, you know, they're coming out, they're coming at a whole situation from like a wound, you know, from like this where they were wronged or like certain certain corner of their heart that they just they haven't quite figured out yet. So I think she feels like she's in the right, but um, but she's just so powerful and diabolical. It's kind of cool to see her kind of have that balance between having this heart and not wanting to show too much and then just like annihilating anybody that gets in her way. Yeah, and it's that badness is also so sexy. Yeah. I mean, her character is so sexy, but there also is this kind of just sexy undertone to the entire show. Mm -hmm. um, so what sort of notes do you guys get before you go into those scenes? Because they're not, it's not overtly <laughs> sexual. It's not like, but it's just like the tone and the music yeah. and the vibe and the dialogue. It's all very sexy. Yeah, well, there wasn't, it wasn't like we were like huddled up and be like, we gotta be so sexy today. <laughs> like get the, get the sex game strong. Um, <laughs> But um, no, I think it, all of those all of those elements that make it such a such a binge worthy show and li and like you said, sexy and dark and gritty. I think it's because we're just coming coming at it from an honest place, and I think all of those things working together. We knew what we were making, but we also knew we like we have to care about these people. We have to treat this like it's do or die. So I think we weren't really trying to have any of that like premeditated in any way. I think it just kind of came together. It was just the right people, right time. Just a bunch of naturally sexy people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know how I slept then, but yeah, everybody else is wonderful.